Okay guys, this old control system is an old carrier VVT system. They don't make them anymore, not this version. Okay, some of them used to have a rotary dial and whatnot. Um, this one, the customer complaint was they can't move temperatures. Okay, it's set for cooling, heat, automatic mode, fan on. Okay, okay, it's in automatic mode, but temperature's not moving. So, wait till this stops here. Let's go on number three here. Boom. Okay. Okay, four, that is fully locked. I'll bump that down one there. Okay. Bam! There you go. Okay, guys, hope you're learning. They don't have classes on that anymore. Okay, guys, this old control system is an old carrier VVT system. They don't make them anymore, not this version. Okay, some of them used to have a rotary dial and whatnot. Um, this one, the customer complaint was they can't move temperatures. Okay, it's set for cooling, heat, automatic mode, fan on. Okay, okay, it's in automatic mode, but temperature is not moving. So, wait till this stops here. Let's go on number three here. Boom. Okay, four, that is fully locked. I'll bump that down one there. Okay. Bam! There you go. Okay, guys, hope you're learning. They don't have classes on that anymore. Hey guys, good morning. It's Sunday morning and I'm busy on my back porch having a hot cup of coffee, enjoying Pittsburgh's weather. We're about 77, 78 degrees Fahrenheit. It's rather dry out. It's got a nice breeze going through. Feels great. Uh, nice to relax. Uh, believe it or not, I'm following up on some information. I'm editing a video currently for you guys and I thought it was a good time to pull out one of my old booklets and show you guys a little um, tech information. A lot of newer guys have not seen this information. A lot of older guys have been around it and have seen it for quite some time. Uh, it was the old Carrier uh, 33CS uh, VVT system. Um, it was a rock solid, um, solid state piece of uh, machinery controls. Uh, works with master stat, zones, bypass dampers, um, different discharge air temperature sensors and whatnot and it's all about comfort okay um, we can control just say a building of 300 offices you can control all those offices um, to keep them a certain temperature but it all costs money so these zones can be branched off I see them typically where they run three to four offices at a time okay per zone controller and it works off of a voting system say you have just an example a rooftop unit okay actually I did find something in my booklet here this might actually help okay yeah here we go okay hopefully it's coming in clear to you guys so you got your packaged rooftop unit okay packaged rooftop unit containing heat cool and uh, could have an economizer depending okay so you got your supply vent that goes supply duct that goes down through the trunk line goes to your um, diffusers into your office space down below okay you have a drop ceiling right above it you have your return open return on this one uh, coming back so these the main monitor thermostat you could have it set mostly in automatic mode so it does heat and cooling uh, and fan on then you have your multiple zone controllers that control control dampers and whatnot throughout the uh, space uh, per offices for those sections now just uh, think of this. Okay, you got six zone controllers. Four are calling for cooling, two are calling for heating. Basically, the four are going to outvote the two. Okay, they want cooling, they're going to cool first. So it's going to uh, initiate the cooling mode into the unit. It's going to turn the uh, ones that are the voting for heat, they're going to turn them to a minimum position. Okay, so it's going to trickle in a little bit of cold air just for uh, to get rid of building sickness. Now, um, those four are going to say, okay, let's cool. 
they're going to keep cooling dampers open 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 until they met their set point and they're all good and satisfied then they're going to turn back to a minimum position then the two that are heating wanting to heat it's going to turn the unit into heat mode and it's going to send it down through the ductwork now you're going to say oh well what's going to go on with the, that extra air pressure well that's where our bypass damper kicks in okay that's going to open up and it's going to throw that extra heat out into above the ceiling okay some's going to probably trickle through through your uh, minimum position dampers on those four other zones uh, but it's just to remove um, any building sickness stale air and whatnot um, now those two are going to satisfy and then they'll go back to a minimum position minimum position uh, bypass damper is going to close up well open up and it's just going to recirculate above the ceiling so it's a very good system um, you can actually go to the zone controllers and whatnot and you can talk to basically and see what the discharge air temp is you can see what different rooms are doing you can change programming um, but basically why i'm showing you guys this from my booklet it's good to have the internet today, but to readily have this available available in your work van for certain facilities, it's great to have. So definitely keep information and brush up on it once in a while because in the heating and air field, things are always changing and updating left and right, okay? So if you think, hey, I'm done with tech class, you know, done with your um, triangle tech or any type of um, schooling, you're going to always be learning. So thermostats are always updating. Control systems always updating, making them better. Um, sometimes more in, over engineered and sometimes uh, better. Sometimes. Um, uh, like a newer system that changed that out. Okay. They have a new carrier VVT system. Um, let me flip to this real quick. Um, actually, somebody put one of these thermostats in my wife's mother's house. I don't know who. I gotta change it out because it, it's not for her. Um, they have a newer version, works well. I've been to many classes on these things. Um, definitely brush up on them if you can, so. <sighs> okay guys, well, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and flip through this a little bit more and, and finish editing this video for you guys. Um, always read, okay? That little theory helps, uh, but on the job training, hands-on definitely by far for me is very helpful and beneficial. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Have a safe weekend. Um, if you have a certain control system that you like, please um, type it in the comments. Uh, let me know pros and cons if you don't like those systems. So, but every everybody has something different that they like. So, okay, guys, have a good day. Um, uh, thank you for watching HVAC Explained and uh, take a nice gander out here. So, looks nice. So, okay. Thank you. Almost spilt my coffee.